In this video, I'll give you a tour of my indoor hydroponic mini farm that has lettuce, strawberries, and several other unique plants. These systems provide me with a continual supply of produce through all seasons. So let's dive in. To start with, I'll point out where I am. So I'm down in my basement, in my laundry room and utility room here, and there's nothing at all fancy about this room. I've got a furnace, laundry equipment, hot water heater, an old fridge. And in this room, I'm able to grow a whole bunch of produce just in the extra little spaces between equipment and just empty space that wouldn't otherwise be used. So here's the first system I'll show you. This is my lettuce system. And I've got this set up. I have a steel rack here. And I'm able to stack my systems and put multiple systems into the same space. And then I can fit it in between old freezer over there and then my hot water heater here and right now I only have one of these two systems running but it'd be easy to start up this system I just don't have it on right now but with this system here I'm able to grow enough lettuce to supply what my family needs so I can grow four really big heads of lettuce each week and the way this system works, it has 28 plant sites. And then what I do is I plant seedlings over here. And then as the seeds grow, turn into seedlings, I move them over here. The kind of medium-sized plants spaced medium distance apart. Once they get to be mature plants, then I move them into locations where they have more space to grow and fill out. And then after seven weeks I can harvest the lettuce so I'm always planting for and then harvesting for each week so it's a continual supply. A little bit about how the system works. So it's a hydroponic system got a reservoir which holds water and nutrients that the plants need and there's a submersible pump inside the reservoir and that pump pumps water up through a tube comes into first rail here and the water travels down the rail back across to the second rail all the way back and then back down into the reservoir so it's forming a continuous loop where the pump just keeps recirculating the same water and nutrients through that system and so then I have to do periodic water changes where I change out the nutrients to keep everything fresh but this system can go several weeks without needing that to be changed. For grow lighting, I'm using these LED tube lights. And these are really nice because I can zip tie them right to the wire rack above. So they're really easy to install and run. And each of these only takes 42 watts. And right now I'm just using two. I've also experimented with using three. With three, the plants grow a little bit faster, but two uses less energy. so. Just with these two lights, I'm running this system for just 84 watts. That's an overview of the lettuce system. Now let me show you what else we have over here. So here are my two strawberry systems. These are set up pretty similar to what you just saw with the lettuce system. I have a wire rack here, and in this case I have both systems running, stacked on top of each other, so they take the same... They're both systems are in the same space and these systems are similar again in that there's a submersible pump in the reservoir and then water and nutrients and that water and nutrients gets cycled through these rail systems. You can see I'm experimenting with two different kinds of systems. Both of them work pretty well so far. So I have the I have a square rail system with five inch rails up on top. And then on the bottom here, using four inch round pipe to make a hydroponic system. For the strawberries, these are ever bearing strawberries. So they theoretically will keep bearing continually. They don't have a specific time of year where they um, bloom and fruit like the June bearing ones do. But what I've noticed with these is even though they're ever bearing, they still do seem to put out flushes of 
blooms and fruit. So this system here, I started later than the system above. So this one is having its first flush of fruit here. These are the first berries that started on this system. Whereas this one, it's already had berries for a while. Then it had a short period where it had no berries and now it's putting out a bunch of flowers. And in probably another week or two, this will be just loaded with berries. You can see the berries are really nice quality. They get really good size and nice and bright red and they're very sweet. They have excellent, excellent flavor. This is my ninth or 10th time growing hydroponic strawberries and it's really fun. I learn something new every time I do it. Okay, so then the next system is right here next to the strawberries. And this one is sort of a collection of a bunch of different things. One thing that I really enjoy with hydroponics is trying new things and then trying a whole bunch of different plants. So this system is that. I've got probably at least 10 different kinds of plants growing in this system all right next to each other and a lot of them are doing really well. So I'll show you a couple of them here. Um, before I show you the plants, again as a picture of how this works, pretty similar. Got a pump in there, it's pumping water up into this rail, then water is going down the rail, back down this way, across again, and back down that way. So this is a three rail system, The other, all the others were two rails, and this one uses a uh, four inch square pipe. Okay, so then what am I growing here? Got some strawberry, another strawberry plant. It's still small, not really doing much so far. So nothing to report there. Here I have Swiss chard. And Swiss chard grows really well hydroponically. You can see it's growing up past the grow light here. And what I do with this, is this leaf needs to be harvested. So what I would do is clip these off, these larger leaves right at the base, and then chop that up and saute it or use it in a salad. But then these smaller leaves in the middle, they'll grow out and basically replace these larger leaves. So you get a continual harvest just from these two plants here. This is some red lettuce. It's going to look really cool as it matures. And this is red vein sorrel. I think this plant looks amazing. Um, it's kind of kind of unique in the appearance and then this adds a really nice flavor to salads it's sort of a topping and then um, also adds some color so that one's fun to grow I've also got some spinach this is a red stemmed variety this one grows well nice thing about spinach is similar to Swiss chard and really similar to the sorrel is I can just clip off leaves and use those um, and then it'll the plant can stay in the system and keep growing. Then here I have a flower. This is a zinnia. And I've got another larger one back there. What I've been doing with these is investigating the option of having a living bouquet. And that's worked really well. So what I've done is I have this zinnia plant growing back here. And what I can do is take the plant out of the system then put it into a vase that has some water and nutrient solution. And I can set that on the table, have it out during a nice dinner or when we're having friends over. And then afterwards, I can take that same bouquet and then put it back into the hydroponic system and it'll keep growing and keep flowering. So this one here has been, I've taken it upstairs a couple different times and brought it back down here and put it back in the system. And it just keeps on adding flowers. I think it probably has 10, probably 10 flowers on it right now. And then this is just a mini version of that, a little younger plant and a pink one instead of a orange. So that's been a fun experiment that I've been working on. Also have some giant lettuce here. These are just huge. Basically just been an experiment of how big of a head of lettuce I can grow. Usually I pull the lettuce before it gets to be this big but I just wanted to see how big will these things actually get if I just left them in the system so they're they're just giant 
Then here I have stevia, and stevia is really fun because it's a good, it's a natural sweetener. So you can just pluck one of these leaves off, and it's very sweet, just as is. You can also make an extract out of it and use that to sweeten things, and it grows really well hydroponically. Back here is basil. Basil also grows well hydroponically, and similar to the a lot, a lot of the other plants I've shown here, you, I can just clip off a little branch, take it upstairs, use it for adding to a recipe, and this plant will just keep kicking out new branches and um, more leaves. And it grows really fast. It also smells really good. Got another strawberry back here, and then here I have sage, similar to basil. I can take leaves off of it, use them for cooking, and it will just keep generating more leaves. And it grows really well hydroponically and kind of just fits into whatever spot you have. So it's a little bit cramped back there behind the lettuce, but still growing fine. And I'll, I'll be pulling these giant lettuce heads out of here pretty soon, and that'll give more room to some of these other plants. Then the last thing, I've got some rosemary that I just planted here. So those are still small. They take a while to get started, but again, just like basil and sage, it'll be nice to have a continual supply of rosemary that I can always take a twig off of when I need it. This is one I haven't tried before. This is a bunching onion. I just want to see how well that works. And then I've got a couple other greens. I think this one is mint and a couple other greens that I'm just starting here. I should also point out, this system is actually under my stairs. So this system basically takes no space at all because this, my experience usually under your stairs is where you just throw junk. So here I'm taking that space and using it to grow a whole bunch of cool plants that we can eat. And that's kind of how I have set up these systems. I just set them up to fill in a little space where I've got an extra corner or an extra space under the stairs or an extra spot in between my hot water heater and freezer over there. So you can you can grow a lot of produce just in the extra little spots that you might have in your house. It's pretty fun. If you want to build a system like this, I've had lots of people interested, so I've created a free guide that shows how I built these rail systems that I'm using um, in all three of these spots. So I've got a free guide on my website. You can go check that out, and it shows you the steps that I take to build these systems and then get them up and running. Thanks for watching.